edible polys, the edit edges rollout, the connect button. So let's make a box and I'm going to cut down my uh, segments down to like three. And I'm going to just create a box here. I'm going to, while it's selected, right click, convert it to an editable poly. And now I'm going to go over and pick on my sub object levels and I'm going to pick on my edge. When I pick on my edge, I get the edit edges rollout. Okay, so whenever I my edge is selected, I can edit my edges. I want to come down and take a look at my connect button. So down here we have connect, and to the right of it I have settings. So let's click on the settings button. Over here in my caddy, I have the, the number of segments. So I can choose one or two or three different line segments. I'll pick two. So I'll hit the up button and I'll hit two. And so here in this one is my pinch. And my pinch is the distance in between the two edges. So I'm just going to throw in a 10. So it's going to be 10 units between the two. And then down here is my slide. In which direction do I want to slide it? Up or down? So I can shift it if I want. So I'm going to leave that at zero for right now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an edge. So I'm going to pick this edge over here. And then I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to pick this edge over here. You can see I have two lines created, two edges created. I can change that to three if I want. Okay. I'll go back to two. Right now it's 10 units apart. I'm going to say I really wanted 15. And you can see then it jumps a little wider apart. All right. I can shift this. And I can say, oh, I want to shift this up 20 units. And you see that the lines jumped up. Okay. And so once I get it established where I want, and in reality, I'm going to go back to the center here. And so I'm, it's nice and centered. And oop, no, it's not. And it's nice and centered. And I got 15 units between the two. And that looks good. If I like that, I'm going to hit my OK button. And now I just created two more edges. Now I could pick on that edge. And I could go up and say select and move. And now I can pull out on that particular edge right there. So I'll pull out on it and right click. Um, I'll pick on this other edge and I'll select to move and I could move on that edge, for example. So I can pull that in and out, etc. Okay. So the uh, this edit edges rollout whenever I'm having edge selected. So when I have edge selected, my edit edges rollout shows up. I have this connect button and it allows me to connect uh, two edges and it'll allow me to put a edge between two existing edges. If I go into this settings button, it pops up the caddy and I can set the settings of how many edges I want, etc. So in this case, I'll just say I want one and um, I'll click down here and I'm going to say zero. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick on um, an edge. So I picked on this edge. I'm going to hold the control key down and pick on the other edge. And I put in one line. It's dead center. It's not shifted or slid in either direction. So the slide is not changed. I can hit OK and I've created a new edge. And now I can just come in here and grab a hold of it and work on that edge if needed. So this is the connect button in the edit edges rollout.